All right, so now you come to probably the most difficult part of this entire course, in my, in my opinion. That's drawing the lips in three quarters view because they look so different. Um, they look the same as front view, sort of, but the part that turns away from us, this part, really changes its shape a lot. It doesn't look anything like the side view. It looks like it's, whole, it's a whole new thing altogether, and you gotta memorize that and how that looks. But if you memorize it, how that looks, then you can draw a face from all these different angles because you're just drawing it from looking up or looking down at it and so forth, it becomes a lot easier. Take your time on this one. Put the work in, do the exercises, draw a bunch of lips from three quarters view, draw different style lips, draw some mouths open, draw some closed, some slightly parted open and so forth. Draw them until they look pretty. Draw them until they look right. Now that doesn't mean they have to look right to continue on with this course. You can finish the rest of this course, but at least draw 20 lips before you continue and move on. You're gonna to want to, you know, every day or every other day, don't burn yourself out. Put the work in, do the measurements, do everything accurately, make sure that line is accurate on the three-fourths view. Draw the lips. Remember that that the line that divides the lips, the lip is longer on this side than it is on the side that's turning away from us. Keep that in mind. Draw a bunch of lips. Eventually you will get it. I know it seems sometimes really, really hard at first. Believe me, there are many, many times where I wanted to give up on drawing um, to where I was like, you know, we're well, not to give up altogether, but just certain things. I'm like, I'm never going to draw pretty faces from this view. I'm never going to get these lips down. They're never going to look right. And I wanted to give up so many times, but I just kept putting the work in, kept putting the work in, kept putting the work in, draw, 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 measure, measure, measure. And eventually I got there. And there are some days, even to this day, that I'm still just having a hard time. It's just a bad day for whatever reason. My brain just doesn't want to draw what I know I can draw. And I just have to either just not draw that day or I have to go back down to the basics. I have to measure everything out and put the work in uh, for that face. And it's, and it's unfortunate. I don't have those days very often anymore, but sometimes they do happen. So keep in mind that you'll have some really, really good days where you can just, you're on it. You just see everything feels good and solid and other days where it's just like, man, I can't draw nothing for some reason that looks good to you. But you, if you just go back to the basics, go back to these measurement rules and then draw that way, it'll look right. You know, once you have that, that measurement down, once you can draw the template and you can plug in the pieces and, and, and draw it, you know, from the way I taught in this course, you can always go back to that. So just keep that in mind. If you're having a hard day, you can always go back to just figure it out, measure it all out. You know, yeah, it takes longer, but at least in the end result, it looks good. All right. So I'll see you in the next lesson.